Showtime has just released the first trailer for their new series that is upcoming called The Man Who Fell to Earth. This should be a tremendous series. It has great actors and a great writer and it's taking from a great story. In this video, I will break down what we just seen in this trailer. What up to my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the best of Don Tony Teflon. If you can, please subscribe and click that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. This series is going to be great. Do not get rid of your Showtime subscription. This is going to be a tremendous series. The trailer looks amazing, so let's get right into this and break it down. Inspired by the David Bowie film, Showtime's upcoming series, The Man Who Fell to Earth, follows an alien who travels to Earth on a mission to save the planet from certain doom. Now, The Man Who Fell to Earth, which originally was a film in 1976 that did not do good at the box office at all, has gained a cult following. This April, we will get a new incarnation of the 1963 Walter Tevis novel, dropping as a TV series on Showtime. Since it's a TV series and not a movie, I think they will be able to stick to the book and do things that they were not able to do in the movie due to time restriction. The man who fell to Earth follows an extraterrestrial named Faraday, who arrives on Earth at a turning point in human evolution and must confront his own past to determine our future. Faraday will be played by Chiatella Okafor. Naomi Harris takes on the role of Justin Falls, who is a brilliant scientist and engineer. Bill Knightley will play Thomas Newton, the main character of the novel, and the alien that was played by Bowie in the original field, who has now been living on Earth for over 40 years. The trailer shows Okafor's alien arriving on Earth at a pivotal point in history, as well as his mission to save the world, in addition to his wife and daughter, back at his home planet. As the trailer starts, we hear Okafor's character saying, I was sent to find you. And that person he was sent to find was Naomi Harris. And as she says in the trailer, she's always working, but not at what she's good at. You can see her power washing trucks for money because she's afraid that they're going to come and take her home from her. She says Molly has no one. She's trying to raise her, but her life looks as bleak as the world that she's living in. We see a shot of the three main characters and obviously from the looks of it we can see that the problem with this planet seems to be climate change which is a problem that we're dealing with right now which is why I believe they put this TV series out right now but you could see from the landscape that it everything is dried up that the planet just does not look healthy and lack for a better term that the planet does look like it's decaying at this particular time. And although we do see a pressure washing a truck in this barren landscape, it does show us a shot of her home and you could see that she has windmills at her home. You could see that the planet looks extremely dry at this particular time and that she is really a great engineer. Next, we hear her say she's seen something and what she sees is Okafor coming to this planet. After that, we hear him say the statement that we heard in the beginning that he came here directly for her, specifically for her. He says he was sent to find her. And she's like, I'm talking to someone from another planet. And a great comeback line is he says, so am I. <laughs> Now, in the book, Athenia is experiencing a terrible drought after many nuclear wars, and the population has dwindled to fewer than 300. Their starships are unusable for lack of fuel and 500 years of neglect. The Athenians have no water, and the food that they have is slowly dwindling. They have feeble solar power. One thing all Athenians have is super intelligence, but that's not the reason why he is selected to go on this mission. He is selected because he has the physical strength necessary to resist Earth's gravity and Earth's hotter climate. 
She asks him if he has a family and he says that they're waiting for him if they survive. And then we see a quick shot of what I believe is from his planet, the decay that happened from the nuclear wars and why he was sent on this mission to begin with. We then see a lone bumblebee and we know without bees, the availability and diversity of fresh produce would decline substantially and the human nutrition would likely suffer. Crops would not be cost effective and the world that we have known to love would just go away. Which is why we hear him in the trailer say, can you help me? And she agrees to because his plan is just about to die. And he says Earth is on the exact same trajectory that his planet is. So they're both together trying to save both planets at the same time. And that is what this series is mostly about. Now, even though our two heroes are here trying to do something special, trying to save both planets, you know that human beings always have to come along and mess things up for their own personal gain. And that is what we see in this next particular part with the FBI agents trying to get involved. And we hear her say, they know what you are, who you are the CIA comes from they have been following him since he arrived on earth and they have recorded all of his private conversations they put him through a whole mess of tests and revealed that yes he is in fact the alien but they do let him go because they don't want to embarrass the government but once you think everything is fine for him, it's not because then the FBI gets involved and they bag him up and they put him through a series of tests. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly what happens when the FBI hit, catches him because that would be spoiler territory. And I want you to experience this show spoiler free. That's what we see in these next shots from the trailer, the CIA and the FBI all trying to capture him because they realize that he is an alien and put him through a battery of tests. As I said before, they are super intelligent, so they have the means to fix this planet and to get this planet going on the right track. But as always, human beings want to come up there and mess things up from that happening. We hear Bill Knightley who's playing Thomas Newton and that is the character that Bowie played in the original film say I brought you here to finish what you started because when you hear all this technology I said they're so smart the technology that they bring to this planet does not go unseen people start to think of hey something is wrong how do these people know how to do these things that's where all of the problems and everything else take form in this TV series so I'm not going to go into anything else because again if I do I'm going to spoil it and I don't want to do it I truly want you to watch this series I'll be here every week doing breakdowns so make sure you're subscribed to this channel so when this show does drop you'll be notified every time I drop a new video about the show I'll also be doing weekly live streams on this show so it's gonna be a great time again this looks like a great series I cannot wait for this to drop it's going to be amazing but you let me know in the comment section what you think and if you like the way I do this please thumbs up this video it truly helps the algorithm it gets this video out there subscribe click that bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video and until next time know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.